All right, we're back. We're back. So it is official. Miami Hurricanes are playing the Rutgers Scarlet Knights in the Pinstripe Bowl. Now, I know most people, they didn't want to go out to El Paso. They also didn't want to go to New York. But, I mean, it is what it is. You know what I mean? I think a lot of this stuff is predicated on viewership and it just you know it's just a lot of things right i know earlier when I, I did my live you know it was almost like hey it's it's, it's official we playing oregon state i know with some you know with some murmurs of usc at one point in time but they were they also was murmurs of playing Rutgers in the pinstripe bowl and so apparently that's what we're going to get two coaching uh coaches you know two head coaches that know each other very well mario cristobal went with Greg Schiano, you know, when they left the University of Miami to go to Rutgers to help rebuild that particular program, somewhat of a mentor probably to Mario Cristobal, so I'm sure they probably still stay in touch. So uh, this would be interesting, you know what I'm saying? You know, in, in these type of dynamics, obviously, I'm sure the mentee wants to beat the mentor, you know what I mean? Um, looking at the current state of affairs of our roster, we know for a fact we will, we will be without Don Chaney, Tyler Van Dyke, as of today, now a lot can change tomorrow, but as of today, no Tyler Van Dyke, no Don Chaney, no LT, no Jafari Harvey, no uh, Corey Flagg, no Cam Kitchens. I don't know if James Williams will play, but we know without a shadow of a doubt we're going to be without those particular guys in this particular game. And we'll get to see a preview of what the roster looks like, what the team looks like, um, you know, going into next season. Um, on paper, with what we have left over, um, we should have an advantage. Looking at Rutgers' schedule, they finished the season six and six, and they 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 ended the season on a four-game losing streak, playing Ohio State, Iowa, Penn State, Maryland. They had six losses total, as I said. Uh, these are the scores of these losses: uh, Michigan thirty-one to seven, Wisconsin twenty-four to thirteen, Ohio State thirty-five to sixteen, Iowa twenty-two to zero. Penn State 27 to 6 and Maryland 42 to 24. So they're not putting a lot of points up on the board, but kind of looking at this schedule, they played four of the best defenses in the entire country, which is Michigan, Ohio State, Iowa, and Penn State. So they so our defense is good, but I don't know if our defense is as good as Michigan, Ohio State, Iowa, and Penn State, right? But our defense is good. But we're, we're also going to be without some, again, some 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 key players um, that, that kind of help. So we'll kind of see what's going on here, right? Um, looked up some rankings. They have a top 25 defense, but their offense ranked 120th in the country. So that, that tells you a lot. Uh, their quarterback threw for nine touchdowns and eight interceptions. So I, I, I looked and saw that he's a junior. So I'm, so obviously he'll be playing this game. But he rushed for 488 yards and nine touchdowns. So um, thinking maybe kind of like maybe Boston College again. Uh, they had a thousand yard rusher. Their their leading receiver to me, I looked like he was a slot guy. So uh, if our young guys can, you know stifle these people. I think we can do enough on the offensive side. You know, also I forgot Javion Cohen. We're gonna be we're going to be without Javion Cohen, right? So don't know if don't know if Matt Lee's gonna play because uh Matt Lee hasn't declared that he's he's going anywhere yet. So uh some people are feeling like he may, you know, he may return. So you know it it it, it will be interesting to see, right? Um but I think if Javion Corn and Matt Lee, neither one of them play, I think this will be something interesting uh, to, to look at. I didn't really look at Rutgers defense because they may have some guys that are draft eligible. They may be looking to leave uh, as well. The, <laughs> the worst nightmare to me would be if this is a replay of Manny Diaz versus Butch Davis. <laughs> that, that would be awful. If we turn around and we were to lose this game. But we need this game, man. Uh eight and five looks a lot better than seven and six. Um again, man, with just so much uncertainty going on about who will be here and who won't be here. 
Um, I probably should have waited till tomorrow to record this video, but I, I wanted to get it out today, you know, kind of get within the algorithm of what's going on in the news cycle today. Um, but I feel confident saying that we should win this game. I don't have a score prediction, but I feel like going to New York, that'll be a nice experience for a lot of the guys. And it should probably be some motivation as well because for us to end up playing in the pinstripe bowl, to me, it just says a lot about how um, the bowls view and feel about the University of Miami right now. And it's time for us to change that particular perception. Uh, perception. But as always, man, like, share, subscribe, comment. And as always, 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 it's all about the you. I'm out.